And NBA is back, and that means I'm back full-time with Chat Sports, so we're ramping up our NBA coverage. When you go to youtube.com slash chatsportstv and subscribe, you get all the best NBA coverage without all the BS for free. It's the best way to do it, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll be keeping you up to date all year long here on Chat Sports. Let's go with our live Q&A. If you want your questions on the screen, use hashtag NBA, just like Derek Harris did. He said, if the Nets are fully healthy, do they make it to the Eastern Conference Finals? Man, that's a big question of what ifs. However, I do think they're the team to beat in the Eastern Conference. When you got two superstars in Kyrie and Kevin Durant, it outweighs the one superstar that is Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Brooklyn Nets. Now, the Brooklyn Nets might be the more well-rounded team, but if fully healthy with Spencer Dinwiddie, with Karis LeVert, with Joe Harris, with KD, with Kyrie, that's a tough team to beat. So I'm going to say yes. I think they make it to the Eastern Conference Finals and face off against Giannis and the Bucks. More NBA questions here. Speaking of Giannis and Tedekumpo, what do you think of Giannis to the Warriors? No, I don't want Giannis to A, leave the Bucks. I think he should just stay loyal for life. I think he should stay the Milwaukee Buck as long as they can build a team around him. And B, I would hate for his legacy to get tarnished like Kevin Durant did and go and join up with Two superstars in Steph and Clay. Build your own team in Milwaukee. Do what you can there. That is the way to go about it. He's been doing it right so far. I hope that does not change. Let's go to Kevin Otto here with a good question. Miles Turner to the Kings for Harrison Barnes. What do you think of this trade? Man, I don't hate that trade. I love seeing those NBA trades come through here. If you got some more trade options, put them down in the chat below. And here's why I don't hate it. Miles Turner could be a great starting big man for the Sacramento Kings, and that's what they need. They don't have a great starting big man outside of uh, Marvin Bagley. Harrison Barnes becomes that wing option that the, the uh, Indiana Pacers don't have right now. If you've got a starting five of Malcolm Brogdon, Victor Oladipo, Harrison Barnes, TJ Warren, and DeMontis Sabonis, that's a fun team, and that's a lot of good offense coming through that Indiana team. So you know what? I think both teams could say yes to this deal. However, the money owed to Harrison Barnes might not be. Now, Kevin's asking questions about the Kings and the Pacers, but I want you to shout out your favorite state or your country. Not your favorite, where you're living. I guess that would also be your favorite. You get it. So shout out your state or shout out your country. We have so many national watchers here on Chat Sports, a wide variety of an audience, international, national. Man, I'm all over the freaking place. So wherever you're watching it from, shout it out in the chat below. I'll give you some chats or some shout outs here. Ethan is watching from Canada. Kevin's watching from Ohio. 38 Sniper watching from Syracuse. Kenton says he's watching to Kansas. Thanks for watching, Kenton. Ethan is watching from Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, actually. And Doggy Dallas watching from Texas. No doubt about it. Now let's talk about timing, Bigfoot. He asking a question here. Who is your most improved player? Good question. And I actually did a show about this already on the channel. And if you are subscribed, and if you have that notification bell on, you would have seen the video already. YouTube.com. Slash Chat Sports TV. I made all my award picks, but I'll answer your question. My most improved player comes down to three guys. Brandon Ingram, Bam Adebayo, and Luka Doncic. And as much as my heart wants me to pick Luka Doncic, it's Brandon Ingram of the New Orleans Pelicans. He has taken three steps forward in his game and has completely changed the way he plays. So I'm going with Brandon Ingram of the New Orleans Pelicans. Santiago Solo asks, does the championship come with an asterisk? Here's my thing. Did the NBA championship in 2012 come with an asterisk when they had a shortened season? No, it didn't, and neither does this one. In fact, this championship might be harder to win than any other championship ever because of the, the, the difference and the amount of time they've taken off between really the start of the season to the NBA playoffs. So no, it does not come with an asterisk. I think this is just as valid, if not more valid, than any other championship that has ever been won in the NBA. Krishna asks, when do you think LeBron will retire? Good question, and I think he's answered this question for us already. When Bronny James Jr. ends up in the NBA, that's when LeBron James will retire. He wants to play at least one year while his kid is in the NBA, and I don't blame him. That'd be a ton of fun to watch. So whenever that may happen, whether it's six years down the road, five years down the road, I don't care if LeBron's 48. He's still going to try to find a way to play, and some team will find a way to sign him. So I think it's going to be a long time before LeBron James retires. Got a favor of you guys to ask. As you watch here on Chat Sports, I love interacting with all you guys. It means the world to me that I get to do this literally for a living. 
I want you to share this video on social media, whether you're on Twitter, whether you're on Instagram, whether you're on Facebook. Tag me at Jimmy underscore Crowther on Twitter, at space underscore Jim underscore Jam on Instagram. Tag me wherever you're watching this on social media, and I'll make sure to share that as well. It's really, really simple. In fact, if you don't know, now you know. Click the share button under the video. So you scroll down, you see that little loop de doop arrow? Click it, copy the link, click Twitter, and then tweet it. That's all it takes to share this video. Or maybe you're a big Facebook guy. Click that loop de link. Go ahead and copy the link. Put it in the what are you thinking or whatever Facebook says. And then post it and share it with your friends. Share it with your mom. Share it with your grandma. Share it with Aunt Karen. Share it with everybody you got out there and make sure they're watching on today's show. Let's keep it rolling here with the live Q&A. Around town, 1231 says, is Alex Caruso an MVP candidate? Oh, finals MVP. Um, no, uh, he's not in any MVP candidate except for maybe MVP of the memes. What would that be, an, a meme VP? He's a meme VP. That's what he does. So is he a candidate? No, he's not. But he's fun to watch, and I will cheer for him because he is a Texas a and Aggie. He's a Texas no native. I'll cheer for him. Not an MVP candidate. Big Oso asks, who can the Knicks trade this year's pick for? If I'm the New York Knicks, I don't trade that pick. I hold on to it. I draft a guy like LaMelo Ball. I draft a guy like Denny Avdia. I draft a guy like Anthony Edwards. And you build with R.J. Barrett, with Kevin Knox, with Mitchell Robinson. Just build. Stop trying to bring in all these old vets that don't work out. Just build through the draft. Who can they trade him for? Not a lot. A Chris Paul, an Aaron Gordon, a Kevin Love. Is that worth it? No, it's not. Let's go to Fletcher Horton here. He asks, do you think there are any potential breakout players in the NBA bubble? It's a good question. It's a loaded question because there's a lot of players that could break out. I'll tell you one right now. Bull Bull. That's the simple answer of the Denver Nuggets. Now, he's broken out already in the scrimmages. If he comes back and he plays just as well in the bubble, he is the breakout player of that bubble. Now, another guy of the Orlando Magic that I like a lot, Jonathan Isaac. A lot of people have seen him already. He's going to get a lot of time. A guy defensively that is going to break out, Mikhail Bridges of the Phoenix Suns. It's going to be a lot of those younger teams that you see the breakout players really come through for in the NBA bubble. Now, with the NBA returning, you want to rep your team. Best way to do it, get a jersey. Best way to get it cheap, fanatics. Chatsports.com slash NBA jersey has your favorite team jersey for up to 50% off. Whatever team you want to rep, they've got it for you at a great deal. Chatsports.com slash NBA jersey. Use that custom link. Help out the show. Help grow the show the best way you know how by picking up your favorite team jersey. Chatsports.com slash NBA jersey. Last one we got time for here on our live NBA Q&A, but don't worry, we'll be back very soon with another NBA live show. Eason asks, do you think the Nuggets will trade Bull Bull, Gary Harris, and picks for Bradley Beal? Haven't thought about it, but if Bull Bull is all that he's hyped up to be, I think the Wizards have got to pull the trigger because I don't think, I don't think Bradley Beal is going to stick around with the Wizards very long. I think once he hits free agency, he's gone, so why not try to get something back for him? If you can get Bull Bull to play along young guys like Rui Hachimura, you do it. And Gary Harris is a nice piece too. Plus draft picks, I think it's very possible. I think the Nuggets will try and they can start to build with Jamal Murray, Nikola Jokic, and Bradley Beal. That is a great big three. Love the questions. Make sure you use hashtag NBA to get those questions on the screen. And I'll see you next time.